yes everybody welcome back to talking walls for a brand new video we're looking at the newest news and transfer updates over the last couple of days or so as always hope you guys are keeping well and safe enjoying the weekend so far and of course we've got the euros final uh so big up england for getting that far it'll be interesting to see how well they do it'll be fantastic if they can bring it home but obviously after that we'll have a, really a ramp up of the the transfer news because every single player would have finished their international duties in europe of, of course uh copper america i think is done late sunday night early morning monday morning as well and then the only other com um, competition really is the olympics so we'll see some more transfer news ramp up as always be sure to hit the like button down below subscribe to the channel let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you haven't already go and check out a brand new video it was released on friday evening by a new talking walls member gully uh molyneux musings who gave his thoughts on the current war squad depth and we looked at the registration rules potential incomings and so on um well today over the last day or so we saw news that a bid for huang ki chan has been rejected by wolves uh we had spoken on the last video about uh, interest from the league un club marseille over in france uh, of course the the team of roberto de zerbi the former brighton manager that had an interest in him it was fought and reported in france that they thought that the the uh, deal would be difficult to complete but an official offer has come through is uh, exclusively published by uh, lyle thomas over at sky sports news quickly followed up by uh, other sources uh, more local um it said that the offer was around the 21 million pound mark a fee that Wolves have rejected, a player that Wolves uh, consider not for sale. Um, but it's thought that maybe Marseille may well come back with an improved offer. So it's interesting with this one with Huang. Like I said on the last video, he's a player that, of course, commercially brings a hell of a lot to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Uh, not just that, though. He's a quality footballer in terms of you know his finishing and his goal scoring last season. The only main major issue with Huang is that injury proneness. Um, so I would be very intrigued to see if Marseille start knocking the door with an offer of 25, 30 million pounds. Are Wolves then going to be tempted and think, hmm, maybe, what if? But we'll we'll wait and see uh, on that one. But uh, Marseille, first bid of 21 million pounds for Juan Chan rejected. A player that's currently training with the Wolves squad uh, right now is Daniel Pedence. Of course, his future is still up in the air. Uh, we spoke a little bit about it on the last video. Uh, but uh, Pedence right now, with the squad, uh, like again I said on the last video, a couple of players talking about his social media posts and so on. But it's for that Olympiacos are not giving up on their bid to sign Daniel Pedence. I've spoken about it previously a couple of weeks ago that apparently there have been offers from Saudi Arabia on the table as well that uh, Pedence has rejected. And if he is to leave Wolves, the only destination on his mind is Olympiacos. Had a very successful season, probably his best season in terms of goal contributions last year as they won the Europa Conference League. It was a very successful season for Pedence. Uh, last last year it's also rumored that he has bought a house over in Greece now that doesn't mean a hell of a lot because he may well like the area out there and so on and players don't tend to buy houses they obviously rent uh, but it, it's interesting but one of the key things here is that reports in Greece have suggested that the relationship between Wolves and Daniel Pedence has improved a hell of a lot now it's interesting Gary O'Neill has been a manager that uh, has seemed to get the best both on the pitch and off the pitch out of these players it's been reported that the atmosphere amongst the Wolves squad is stronger certainly than what it was last year under Lopetegui uh, so is Daniel Pudence going to be given another opportunity let's uh, let's wait and see one player that apparently won't be joining Wolves this summer is Ramon Sosa now I've not mentioned that name for quite some time because it hasn't really been mentioned, but the Paraguayan has uh, has been linked with Wolves quite heavily, and then over the last couple of weeks it's gone quiet. But one of the original sources has basically said it's not going to be happening, and Ramon Sosa now is not going to be joining Wolves on a permanent basis this summer, and that was uh, broken by uh, Germain Garcia Grover, who had been reported on it quite heavily previously as well. Some players that may well be coming in instead of him. Um, one is Marcos Vinicius, Brazilian wonder kid, um, over in, in obviously in Brazil right now, playing for Palmeiras, who have made a hell of a lot of money on some wonder kids going to Europe over the last summer or so. Uh, Wolves are amongst a number of Premier League clubs interested in him. 17 years of age, can play as a left back, but also can operate as a winger as well. Tottenham, Newcastle United, and even Benfica reportedly have an interest in him. That's according to the Sun newspaper. Uh, but it's thought that it's going to be a hefty fee. Around 30 million-ish pounds is probably going to be what it takes to sign this 17-year-old. And, of course, there are lots of players. Uh, Endrick is the big one that's going to, to Real Madrid from Palmeiras right now. 
Marcus Vinicius, of course, may well have the quality, but ultimately, for Wolverhampton Wanderers, £30 million to chuck on a player at 17 years of age is a hell of a gamble. So, for me, personally, I don't think this one is going to happen. And, and quickly going back to the Ramon Sosa uh, business, maybe Chiquinho, as well as Pudence, maybe Chiquinho has made the impression on Gary O'Neill for him to stay at Wolverhampton Wanderers as a squad player as well. Apologies if you can hear some dog who hasn't been quiet all day <laughs> in the background. Now, literally, as I stopped recording on the last video, we were talking about um, centre-back options. Uh, a couple of you asked about one or two players because, un unfortunately, I batted a lot back. There was no David Karma, no, potentially no Thomas Bielan, no Clark Salter, no Sotalo. But two new pieces of news have come about since the sale of Max Kilman. Uh, the new one came from John Percy, the ever-reliable John Percy, is that Wolves have uh, Leon centre-back, Jake O'Brien, high up, on their shortlist uh, this summer. Wolves have inquired about the player from Leon, but it's, they've been quoted around £25 million. As of right now, I feel that Wolves find a little bit too steep. Of course, sold Max Kilmer £40 million. That's not to say that £40 million is going straight back in the kitty because ultimately Wolves do have other bills to pay. Foson are going to want a little, want their pound of flesh really and get a bit of money back. So Wolves are going to want to try and find the best deal possible. Like I've already said, they're not in a major rush. The defenders they've got on right now are okay to get by as such. Of course, they're still looking at Jess on Mascara. So, a centre-back right now is obviously going to be a player that they want to look at, but not necessarily a priority right now. So, Jacob Bryan, certainly a player that, I mean, I can't say much. I don't know a hell of a lot about him, but certainly highly rated. No other Premier League clubs have been looking at him as well. Wood class. Um, I'm not sure if he would class as homegrown as well, uh, but Jacob Bryan right now, because he's from Ireland, I'm not sure if he would class as homegrown, but certainly a player that Wolves do have an interest in and uh, possibly will return. So I'll have a look at Nico Elvedi as well, um, the Swiss defender. Wolves have had a, a long-term interest in him from Borussia Mönchengladbach, and it's been reported over in Germany yesterday that he does have a 10 million pa uh, euro release clause, but that does expire at the end of July. Now, that's not to say a move can't go through in August, because of course it can, but it would mean it's a little bit more difficult and, and no doubt Munchen Gladbach would want more money in August. Uh, but if Wolves were to sign Elvedi for that 10 million euro, it would have to be done in July. Um, and it's said that talks, well, first talks, initial talks, have already taken place between Wolves and the German club. And I think, for now... That is all. I was very, having a very quick look to see if ja what Jake O'Brien's situation is in terms of being homegrown because I think he played for Crystal Palace for a couple of years, three years, I'm not, I'm, and, and Swindon as well in between. I'm, I'm really not sure if he would class as homegrown or not. Um, if anyone wants to clear that up in the comment section down below, please feel free to do so. It's interesting that clubs in England are going for him, so may well do so, but um, let's wait and see. As always, guys, be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I said before, uh, be sure to go and check out Gully's video yesterday on the War Squad depth. And uh, fingers crossed England can bring it home. I'll be back uh, hopefully early, uh, early doors next week to give you some more news, hopefully some more positive news on players potentially joining Wolves. As always, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys, and I'll see you all next time.